everybody how is it going this is babylon 5 and this is in the beginning lots of people have been going on and on and on and on at me for quite a long time to watch this but as i've always said i was never going to deviate from the watch order that i had no matter how many people <laughs> messaged me to watch this way before it was safe to was unbelievable i stuck to it there was no way this was getting watched before this point. I'm going to be interested to see what happens in this after last episode, especially because we saw how there was this kind of jump between times and we saw what happened after this Earth Alliance had been created. So we saw 100 years, we saw 500 years. I think it was a thousand and then like a million years in the future where it looked like this guy at the end had gone into like a Volon encounter suit. So that was something that I really, really didn't expect. But it was nice to see how the guys on Babylon 5 were remembered because we had that monk at the end who had his book and he was talking about John and Delenn and Susan. So it's going to be cool to see what follows on from that is this going to be like referencing back to that referencing back to the full four seasons that we've seen or are we going to be concentrating on something completely different it's going to be really cool to watch this because so many people have like hyped this up I'm just worried because so many people have hyped this up, it won't live up to that hype for me, which would be a shame if if that was to happen. I've had to avoid spoilers regarding this. Like there has been, I've never had to avoid spoilers like it in my life for this entire show, but for this film especially, is just been like I've had to live in a bubble basically for quite a long time because if I came across anything, then it, I would have just probably been like, well, fuck it. What's the point? So... I'm looking forward to actually seeing what this is about. I am a little bit nervous though, I think, after this going into season five, because as I was saying at the end of Rising Star, it did feel like we were starting to splinter in various directions and what those directions mean for the station, especially after some revelations in the last episode, especially like in regard to John, the station, it's going to be an interesting interesting ride so i'm going to get on into this let's go it is said that in every age there is one singular event that forever changes the world around us oh a nexus if you will oh my god but in the pain of that war, a future was born. A future that would one day have a name whispered on a hundred worlds. A final refuge for dreams. And our last, best hope for peace. It's been a long time since I heard the sound of laughter in this room. Oh. A very long time. Oh. Oh. Let me see them. Are you really the emperor? <clears throat> oh. I sometimes ask myself the same thing. <laughs> yes. This is the seal of the Centauri Republic. So this is Only set the Emperor can wear it. Cheering so war without I am the end? Emperor, or I am in a great deal of trouble. Or both. <laughs> I guess. For the next five minutes. You can be Emperor. You <laughs> are the Emperor. You may give one order. Any order you desire. What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. Tell me a story. Luke? Oh, no. It's all right. He did far better with that question than I did. Shit. Ah, Malari. Good. I'd like you to meet General Lefcourt. General Lando Malari, liaison to the Centauri delegation. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Likewise. Please, sit. Perhaps you will tell me why you have arranged for this meeting. How dark his hair is. <laughs> Following our victory against the Dilgar, we've taken advantage of the goodwill of other worlds to expand our sphere of influence. These Dilgar kids. We made trade deals and mutual off. defense treaties with the League of Non-Aligned Worlds. Most of the races have been very receptive to our advances. Most. Others downright hostile. And a few are still a mystery to us. What do you know about a race called Minbari? We've had some dealings with them in the past, but nothing in recent years. Why? We're going to send an expedition to their border to see if they pose a threat to our program to expand our sphere of influence. What? We understand that fully a third of their population is dedicated to warfare. Shit. Uh, they have a warrior caste. We need to know all we can about them. Then send one ship. One ship only. Anything more could be perceived as a threat. And if that were to happen... Oh, no! I assure you, they would never return home. 
I mean, Bahrain are one of the oldest space-faring races. Even at the height of the Centauri Republic, when we were expanding in all directions, we never opposed the Mimbare. If you do not bother them, they will not bother you. Good luck with your mission, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, it goes to shit. <laughs> I only hope that in your stumbling around, you do not wake the dragon. Good day. That dragon is called Delenn. <laughs> they didn't listen, of course. Arrogant men never do. Thank you for coming, Kalir. I'm honored that you should travel so far. So. Did you pass on my him. request for more support? I did. It was considered and rejected. They promised. Lenon, be sensible. We have carried the Rangers as part of our cultural identity, our debt to Valen, for a thousand years. How much more can you ask of us? But now is when the prophecy said that we would be needed most. Oh. We must begin to move. I'm sorry. The cast elders have made their decision. What are they going to do? Disband the Rangers? Then I demand to speak with the Grey Council. Well, Linan? <laughs> what do you want? You said you wish to speak with us. I'm glad this guy's came back. I liked him. Step into the circle and speak. We need money, resources, people. And we must attempt a rapprochement with the Volans. <laughs> oh. Kaplan. What does the warrior cast find so amusing? Over the last hundred years, we've sent a dozen ships into Volon space. <laughs> None has returned. <laughs> they never do. <laughs> the same war would be a waste of time and effort and lives. The Volons will come when they are ready. If I may. Oh. It's all so strange there to see her like this now. To give the others the proof they require. Our forces are needed here to protect homeworld. Can you imagine Besides, if they had? the journey is long and difficult. Other expeditions have found that the area around Zaha Doom is mined with traps and ancient defense systems. <laughs> yeah. Other races have moved in. I think I'd like to see it once before I die. Wouldn't you, Dylan? Yes, Master. It's like a day out. Then we will go. Now it starts. Yes. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, come in, Commander. Have a seat. How's your father? He's fine, sir. He sends his regards. I have an opportunity for you, Commander, and I suggest you take it. We're sending out a mission to the border of Minbari space. Oh, my God. The ships involved will survey the disposition of their forces and determine if the Minbari have any hostile intentions towards us. I didn't expect that. I want you on that ship as first officer. The Lexington is an old patrol ship that'll never see action again if Captain Stearns has anything to say about it. But career advancement depends upon high visibility assignments. <sighs> This is an important mission. Did you just pilot in that transport? Yes. It is dangerous to deliver cargo while in hyperspace. Why did your crew take such an unusual risk? I do not ask questions. I only follow orders. Whose orders? I'm told they came from Dukat himself. Oh. Deliveries must not attract undue attention from outsiders. Oh. Why the secrecy? I don't know. You must have some information about your cargo. Something to do with life support systems, alternate atmospheres. That's all I know. What? What kind of alternate atmosphere? Dylan? What are they You're doing? Not are you reconsidering the invitation to join the Grey Council? No, of course not. How could you even ask such a Because a member of the Grey Council wouldn't bother herself with such trivial details as cargo shipments and transports, would she? Ah, oh, no, Master. Of course not. Except when it may involve larger issues. You see, only an alien life form would require an alternate atmosphere. Sir, we're picking up a silhouette at the edge of scanner range. I thought this area is supposed to be well outside the Bimbari transfer points. Aye, sir, it is. There's no reason they should be here. Oh. Unless they're looking for us. No. Can we jump back into hyperspace? Negative. They're going to Zaha Doom. I'm going to put more strain on the engines than we have to. Besides, if it is them, I want to see if we can get a good look at them. I do love that we're getting to see this, though. This is really cool. That's all we got so far. Just a silhouette. Scanners are having a hard time locking on. They may be using some sort of stealth technology. Is there any hostile action yet? Negative, sir. They still may not have noticed us yet. Bring us in closer. The sensors have detected an echo, which seems to be following our course. Oh. They may be alien ships on approach. An echo? I told them to go to maximum power on the scanners so we can verify. They've seen us. All right. Let's get out of here. Prepare to jump. Jump engines not responding. What? Alien scanner rays interfering with our electrical systems. Oh. Tremendous EMP output. Trying to reroute. I.e. they've you got better technology than you. Wanted to get us in range of their scanners so they could shut us down. Go to red alert. Try to open up a channel. Tell them... We mean no harm. We detected these alien ships approaching our space. I've never seen those markings before. Who are they? 
I believe they are the humans. They have tried to contact us, but we do not understand their language. I like how As they have custom, like interspersed these scenes. By whose order? This is clever. Sir, alien ships have opened gun ports. Are they prepared to fire? I don't know. I can't tell. Come on, talk to me. Are they locked on us? Scanners are too powerful. I couldn't tell even if they were. They have opened all gun ports. Yeah, they can see our weapons. They can see we approach them open-handed. But the Enemy humans don't know that. Hostile. That is the problem. Weapons hot. All batteries. All forward guns. Fire at will. I repeat. Fire. Fire. Oh, this is insane. We called you here because we wanted you to see the situation for yourselves. We want you to go back to your units and make them understand two things. One. We need a victory against these forces, any victory, to increase morale. And two, that unless we find a way to defeat them in Bari, the human race ends with the current generation. Susan, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the university. Oh, shit. So sue me. I will. Later. When I get back. I was just worried, that's all. I've heard so many terrible stories about what's going on out there. It's not as bad as everyone says. I'll be fine. I won't wear it again until you come back. Until you give it back to me. Yeah, Susan. Way, we know you'll come back. Susan, that doesn't happen, sadly. We're not asking the Centauri government to intervene militarily. We know that won't happen. Then what do they We're want? We're talking tactical and strategic support. Just and weapons. Oh. With access to some of your weapons, we'd at least stand a fighting chance. <gasps> it's not our policy to supply advanced weapons to developing worlds. Didn't the Nan give them weapons, the though? I'm sure what your car said that and before. We pay the price. No, I'm sorry. There's not enough money in your entire planet to justify that risk. All right, Jakar. What help can we expect from the Narns? When we drove the Centauri from our world after a hundred years of occupation, we seized many of their weapons. Shit! We took them apart, studied them, learned to turn their own weapons against them, and we are willing to sell them to you. How much can you sell us? As much as you can afford, but the price will be high. Oh. So it will take a great deal to convince the Kari to sell you arms and provide support, but I believe it can be done. Assuming we have a deal. We have a deal, Jika. 